All right, now we have the markets up to Dow's back over 43,000. And we had more earnings from some of the big banks this morning. And Wall Street, like those reports. And many of these banks, they're up big. Morgan Stanley is currently up more than eight to a brand new all-time high. And that carryovers from the big bank earnings yesterday. And that's great. Investors, they're rewarded. But the big banks, that's not the economy. And again, the bad news, it keeps coming. Now, we had Intel. They announced they're going to be laying off 1,300 workers in Oregon. And earlier this year, we saw many of the tech companies announce five and 6,000 layoff numbers. So this is just going to add to the misery. Now, we also had International Paper. They're going to be laying off more than 600 workers at some of their facilities in Tennessee. And the layoffs, they keep coming. The factories, they keep closing up. And that's great that the bank's earnings are coming in above estimates. But the nitty gritty is more people are being laid off. And the big bank execs, they're cashing in. They're making a ton of money. But in the end, it's not going to make a bit of difference in what's happening in the real economy with average day Americans. Now, we had mortgage applications. They absolutely plunged 17% from the previous week. And those numbers, they're probably going to be muddled as the Florida real estate market that took a hit and that market is probably going to back into the shadows at least for a few weeks. Now mortgage applications are still up more than 7% year over year. But we're seeing mortgage rates go in the opposite direction of what we need. Even as the Fed has cut interest rates, we've seen mortgage rates go up. And if that continues with rising home prices, the housing market is going to be in big trouble. Now, we also had United Airlines. They reported their earnings this morning. And their earnings actually topped estimates. And that stock is absolutely soaring up almost 15%, hitting a brand new 52-week high. Now, they also announced they're going to be buying back $1.5 billion worth of shares. And that's where the money is going, folks. It's going into paying dividends buying back shares and bonuses. It's not going to the guys at the bottom. Those guys, they're getting pink slips. Now we had the rail and transportation shipping logistic company, J.B. Hunt, released their earnings yesterday evening. And although revenue fell year over year by 3%, they beat their earnings estimate. And that stock is up. Now over in the commodity space, we have gold and silver inching back up. Gold is just under $2,700 an ounce and silver's back near $32 an ounce. And these are the safe haven assets you want to hold. They're going to be going a lot higher. Now we also have orange juice hitting another brand new all-time record it high. And in my opinion, going through this winter in the spring, the agricultural commodities, that's going to be the sector to watch. Now we're going to have the aluminum maker Alcoa report their earnings after the bell, along with the railroad CSX. And we're also going to have Discover Card report their earnings. So we're going to get another barometer of how this economy is doing. This quick stock market commentary, please like and subscribe.